Like we talked through this aspect of commitment. What are you actually committed to? Are you committed to you? Are you committed to you actually working on you on a day-to-day -day basis? What are you actually committed to? Or are you giving up on commitments you've made to yourself? You see, each day I typically wake up and after I work out, I normally go up and take a shower. When I take a shower, I'm normally listening to some type of podcast. Uh, typically, it's either like a Ed Milet podcast or like Alex Ramosi, something like that. I'm trying to like learn about different aspects, business life to be able to better myself. And I was listening today on one of the podcasts. I was listening to Ed Milet show. If you guys don't follow him already, you need to just because he's got great content. So I was listening to stuff on the Ed Milet show, and we were, and he was going over this aspect of people giving up on their commitments, giving up on their commitments to themselves. You see, there's this idea and this thought process of like, well, I'm going to check out for the day. I'm going to disappear. I'm going to figure this out tomorrow. I'm not going to focus on what I need to focus on. You continue to check out on yourself. And so this concept that he was talking about was originally stemming from advice that someone given someone else of like, oh, like some days you just need to like throw it on and forget about it. Just pull the covers back over your head and keep moving on. And so he talked and he had this whole podcast of just him talking about this aspect of you giving up on your commitments. So I want to ask you today, how are you giving up on your commitments? Now, these commitments might be big or they might be small. It might be as simple as you just saying, hey, I'm going to get out of bed at seven in the morning and you don't. Or it could be as big as like, hey, I have to meet with someone for breakfast, or I have to show up for this interview, or I have to show up to pick up my kids, whatever it might be. How are you on following through with the commitments? Because at a day-to-day -day basis, people will struggle with following through with commitments, not necessarily commitments of other people, but commitments of you. So when I ask this question of how committed are you, one way that Brendan Bouchard often tells is how he knows someone is committed to their own growth and development is how much is in your schedule. Where are you in your schedule? Or have you given away the rights to that to everybody else who's in your life, who's pushing their agenda on you, who's like busy saying, hey, I need this from you, do this for me, all this kind of stuff. Where does that actually match up for you? This piece of you getting committed to you is you building trust and reliance on yourself, not on anyone else. Of you saying, hey, when I say that I'm going to do this and I show up and I do the thing that I said I was going to do, it builds confidence that you can actually do it. The hard part is when you've been with a toxic person for such a long period of time, you start to lose your confidence on basic things. Basic things don't feel like you have the confidence to make the decision, to make the, the, the choice to do this, to do that. But instead, you're like, I don't know if I can actually do this because you've lost a bit of your confidence. Part of that stems back from a commitment to yourself. You're like, well, I've always been committed to myself. Well, there's a piece that starts to fall aside of your commitment to yourself when you start to let a toxic person take over. I'm not blaming you. I'm not shaming you. I'm just saying as you go through life and you're focused on what you want and the direction that you know you're called to go and someone toxic comes into your life and starts pulling you to the side, it starts to pull away your commitment. Not your commitment to maybe the end result, but your commitment to you actually doing the things that you say you're going to do. This whole piece of showing up in a commitment aspect is important of understanding that when you decide not to hold a commitment with yourself, you start to erode trust with you. Like you start to erode the aspect of you being able to believe that you can actually heal or grow or change or develop, and it starts to erode your confidence. Because if you don't have the repetition of you showing up for you on a consistent basis, there's not much to base a lot of confidence on. Confidence is built on repetition. When you keep repeating something over and over and over again, you start to become not just better and proficient at it, but you start to become more confident in it. Think of when you first started to tie your shoe. You didn't do the greatest time the first time you tied your shoe, but you do it over and over and over again, you get really good at it. Because this whole aspect of confidence comes from repetition. This whole aspect of understanding you have to repeat to be able to build confidence over and over and over again. The stuff that I do on a day-to-day -day basis is working on building the habits, the daily habits consistently that help me move in a positive direction. 
If you don't have habits in your life and you start to slide back into just living life by default or a wandering generality or moving in the aspect of like, hey, everyone else's agenda is on you, you're not able to move forward in your growth. So for me, I have to be very conscious of how am I actually growing myself. It's been one of the challenges every single day to be able to post on my story on Instagram of saying, hey, this is what time I'm waking up. This is what I'm doing so that people start to see my commitment to my results, my my commitment to how I'm actually growing and working on myself. My commitment shows every single day when I have to get up super early to say, hey, this is what I'm doing for me. This is me going into meditation, not for anybody else, but for my own awareness, for my own growth. This is me sitting down and stacking so that I can grow myself. This whole aspect of commitment is something that you have to get really real with. Too many times when you've been in a toxic relationship or you're moving out of a toxic relationship, it is hard for you to be committed to you, to your growth, to your development, to you becoming the next version of you. Not the old version of you. That's not there and that's not going to come back. But a new version of you that's able to grow, change, and develop in the person you're called to be. How many of you right now would say, hey, I struggle with commitment? like committing to myself that I'm actually going to do this. Like you'll show up on time for a doctor's appointment or you'll be there for a friend when they need you, but you won't be there for you. It seems like it might be either too hard. It might be awkward. It might be, I don't know if I can actually do this. What I'd have you understand with that is that shows the priorities of the people that you love. Like you show up for your kids every single day because you love them. You show up for your healthy family members because you love them. You show up for other people in your life because you care about them. Where does that care stop when it comes to you? Where does that care stop with your self-help? of you working on you on a day-to-day basis. Maybe this is investing in your body, of what you're eating, of how you're exercising, of the things you're doing on a day-to-day basis that are putting you in a state of energy and power. Maybe this is, has to do with you getting time alone to be able to meditate, to be able to clear your mind, to be able to connect with God, with spirituality. Maybe it's you investing in other people. How are you actually investing in you? Maybe it's you starting to grow and develop your own business, your own venture, so you continue to grow into the person you're called to be. All these different things here has to do with your commitment. Several of you have commented, like, yes, I struggle with commitment. Thumbs up, I struggle with commitment. Yes, I struggle with commitment. This commitment piece has to become an integral part of your life. This piece has to become a habit that you do on a day-to-day basis. This is what I focus on on a day-to-day basis. I focus on how am I showing up in my fitness of being able to work out and be able to do things that actually burn calories, that help build muscle, that help move me into a place that I have energy throughout the day. My days are long and they're busy. I typically start at 4 a.m., finish up the work aspect by 4 p.m., go to bed by 10 p.m. Busy, long days. So I have to have energy to keep going. This is why I also uh, supply fuel with drinking daily greens, with doing supplements, with having different things in my body that are helping to level out my body to the way it's supposed to be to help me grow. But that's a commitment I have for myself. I have a commitment to meditation where I'm actually meditating every day for a minimum of at least 15 minutes a day and oftentimes another five to 10 minutes later in the afternoon as I wrap up the work day. I have a meditation, I have a commitment to stacking where I'm actually working on myself every single day, changing the thoughts that I believe because otherwise I will end up thinking the wrong thing. I'll end up viewing life from a different reality than what's actually true, what's actually based on the facts. I also do it on a day-to-day basis of how I'm investing in my commitment to invest in myself, my commitment to invest in my wife, my commitment to invest in my daughter. I'm doing that as a commitment to invest in my business of trying to learn how do I continue to grow? How do I continue to work on myself so that I'm better at communicating and interacting and all these different things? And then how am I implementing these things? What I've just described is a practice that I do every single day that a lot of times I'll refer to as the core four. You're going to see it in my stories on Instagram. You're going to see me talk about it. You're going to see me break it down in different aspects on those stories to have you understand this is what I do on a day-to-day basis that helps my habits. Is that the only thing I do? No. Is that the only thing that's changed me? No. 
but it's one of the things that we're starting to bring to survivors of saying, hey, start to practice this, start to work on this, start to focus on you growing and developing you. And you'll be amazed what happens. Because as you start to develop more time, more attention on you, it starts to open up the possibility of what can actually happen in your life.